Hello, I'm Richard Herman and I've recorded this video to try to help to stop the scourge of all these PPI telemarketing claims. I'm sure we've all had this kind of call. So disturbing when we get these calls when we're trying to enjoy time with our family and friends and children. So because of that, I was getting so many calls from one particular company that I uh, wrote to the Information Commission, filled in their form online, sent it to them. Uh, a couple of days later, I had another call from them, and just to complete this Information Commissioner part of the story, I had uh, uh, an email back to the Information Commissioner to say, Calls you've received do not appear to be from a UK-based organisation. Unfortunately, this means we cannot pursue these calls because they are beyond our jurisdiction. I'm sorry we're unable to be of assistance on this occasion. But I couldn't stop these calls. We were having calls maybe once or twice a day from the same kind of organisation, the same kind of, of audio. And I figured out that this must be the, the same organisation calling and the only way to stop what must have been some computerised telephone dialing equipment was to actually answer the phone and, and speak to somebody, to get through to somebody to stop it. So uh, with these PPI claims companies it does take quite a long time to kind of play along with them before you can find out who the actual company is behind them. But with this company, when I'd done that, I said to them that if you call me again, I'm going to charge you £10 per minute for my time. And this is the actual recording that I said to them. Any more um, phone calls from PPI claims or National Accident Helpline or PPI claim or any of that one, All the... then um, I think as a register for the TPS, um, that I'll charge for my time for speaking to anybody at, at £10 a minute. So if anybody calls up, I'll be charged, that's regarding as an, as, a, as an agreement that I'll be um, charging that for the company. Yeah, that's that's so I hope that would be the end of it because I didn't want to be disturbed and I didn't want to hear from these companies. Uh, but to my astonishment, a couple of days later I was called again from what sounded like the same company. I had to play along with it to find out if it was the same company. But after uh, about 13 minutes the, uh, and being cut off by them, I, it turned out that it was the same company and I called them back and said, under duty of mitigation I'm going to call you for the charge you for the 13-40 uh, minute call that I just had with you. I'm going to charge you for this call as well, another five and a half minutes, 19 and a half minutes altogether, an invoice for £195. And that's what I sent to them with a covering letter explaining to them that it, that it had been registered with the TPS for years, never taken out any relevant loan, never taken out PPI, and never opted in for any telemarketing with you or anybody else on purpose and notified them that I would charge my time if you hadn't done it, uh, and covering with the invoice. Now, with these letters, I've um, made a website so you can actually get templates of these letters if you want to use them yourself in your own, uh, in trying to stop your own telemarketing calls. And I didn't hear anything back, and to be frank, I wasn't expecting to hear anything back from them, so I sent a recorded delivery letter to them saying that it was time for the invoice to be paid. And that engendered a response to them, but the response fascinated me because they said, uh, we don't uh, cold call, and I've contacted the marketing companies we work with, uh, and we're not in any of their databases, and I've also, for your added assurance, cross-referenced your telephone number on our internal systems, found there's no record of you or the telephone number that, that, you, uh, that you provided. Now, that fascinated me because I've been recording my telephone calls for years, it's, you could do it with just a simple little thing like this. It plugs into the, plugs into the BT socket and plugs in, do it plugged into the computer and a bit of software running on the computer record all my calls. So I had all the calls of this company talking to me. My voice, my name, their company name, very clear that they called me. So that blew their case completely out of the water. But if I hadn't had the recordings of the calls, it would just have been my word against theirs. So, um, uh, um, so I wrote to, back to them with that uh, and sent them back the recordings of the calls. And then before the uh, situation w went to court, 
uh, that's the uh, from the court service. Uh, before the, the case went to court, they paid me £220, that was the £195 of the invoice, plus the £25 court fee. And that made me feel the uh, much much stronger. It's very cathartic for me and less like a, um, a, a victim of these people with the fact that I could actually have some response to them, even though the agencies of state, such as the Information Commissioner, were completely incapable of doing anything. So, so, so in case it helps you, uh, I've set up a website here called um, saynotocoldcalls.com and I'll just show you how that looks on the, on the screen. That, that's it, it here. So, and what I've put on here, a bit of background to what happened, um, and I've put on it, as you can see, actual um, templates of the letters I wrote that you can actually download how I did the invoice, the follow-up letter I did, and on the how to do the money claim online, which is through, through the court service. And these are actual um, uh, 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 templates here that you can open up so that you can um, uh, uh, um, uh, use these letters in your own uh, efforts to, uh, to stop these marketing companies. So, so again, if that, I hope that it helps you to, um, to be able to have an action that you can take uh, without depend depending upon ineffectual organisations such as the Information Commissioner. And uh, on the uh, website there, I've put an email address if you want to ask me any further questions, if I can help you to defend yourself against all these uh, organisations. hope it helps.